Hi, my name is John Bertels, and I brought some materials here for building musical instruments, which is part of the educational ideas that you have to do along with the project. So, uh, Joe, I mean, you can see that I brought a lot of my garbage with me here. Well, what led you to decide to include these, I guess, found objects? that have the potential for making musical instruments. Well, you know, all around the world when people build musical instruments, they build it from whatever is in their backyard. And, you know, if you're living in the tropics, you're going to use bamboo to make a flute or something like sure. that. If you're near a river bank, you might use the clay to make something like a gourd flute or something like that. Well, I live in New York City, and what's in my backyard is garbage. <laughs> and, of course, you know, that's what a lot of these things are. Actually, these materials are all easily found all across America. So, I mean, this is just really everyday, ordinary, recycled and reused materials. Uh -huh. here. Okay. Okay, very okay. good. Okay, so starting, um, basically the first thing is just getting some of the concepts of how musical instruments uh, start right. uh, working. So I think the first thing is just to, the idea of that something has to vibrate. So oh, on right. all musical instruments, whether you're in one of the four families of instruments, something has to vibrate. Mm -hmm. It's a string, an air column, yeah. um, you know, a, a, a xylophone piece of wood, whatever. So in this case, I've got something that's going to vibrate here. This is just a metal pipe. This is called a conduit pipe. And I'm going to take a stick and hit the pipe. Now, you'd expect it to make a ding, right? right but right. it's not because I'm holding it. And I that's see. the stopping the vibration. So the next thing is to put it on something that allows it to vibrate. And this is styrofoam. Now, styrofoam is a lot of air inside. It's very light, but it's also got a good strength to it. So now I can hit it again. Ah, and you can very see different it's quality to the sound, isn't Exactly, it? yeah. Mm -hmm. And if I touch it, too, you can see that it stops. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's the vibration side of it. So the vibration is the most important thing for building musical instruments. The next step is to get them louder, because in some instruments, you know, you need to have things a little bit louder. String instruments are always problematic. That's why, for example, in an orchestra, you have like, you know, 40 string sure, instruments and exactly. just maybe one clarinet. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in my case, for example, I've got a string instrument here, which is a tennis racket. I cut all the strings that go across this way which means you probably shouldn't do it with your mom or dad's tennis racket, okay? So I'm going to go like this, and you can see it's pretty soft. Very soft. But when Very I put soft. it onto a box, like my styrofoam box here, which works like, like a resonator, is, uh, is just like this. Ah, amazing transformation of the sound. Exactly. Incredible. It gets it much louder. That's Incredible. right. Yeah. Okay. Now, another example of that, because that's just the string instruments. The next example is to put cones at the end of something. But then oh. that's a wind instrument. Now, that works with brass. That works with woodwinds, with the exception of the flute. Okay. And here's a brass instrument. This is just a metal pipe of some kind. I think this is actually like part of a lamp, something uh -huh. like that. I'm going to buzz my lips inside it, just like a brass instrument. <laughs> You can see it sounds okay, mm -hmm. but now we're going to get it louder by putting a cone at the end. So if you take my construction cone here okay. and put this right inside there, and now let's see how that changes the, uh, the sound. Uh, louder? Definitely louder. Okay. Is that the function of the cone then, to increase the amplitude of the exactly, sound? Exactly, that's right. It focuses the sound waves so that, so that so they it really come out. Does it also change the color of the sound? Well, yes, it, it can change it can. The, color the color and the timbre as well, but, and also it can change the pitch, because change if it's pitch. long enough, it can make it a little bit yeah. lower as well. Okay. All right. So, so I'll let you proceed with your demonstration. Okay, great, thanks. So the next thing is, uh, that's important is getting different pitches, and there's two possible ways to get different pitches on your musical instruments. One is to make things longer and shorter, or bigger and smaller, and uh, to demonstrate that, I've got my xylophone here. Now, the xylophone is different sized pieces of wood mounted on an old desk drawer with some foam rubber to allow the pieces of wood to vibrate. So if I go like this, the longer the piece of wood, the lower the pitch. Something like that. Okay. The other way to get different pitches is to make things tighter and looser, or stiffer and, or less stiff. And the example of that is the bottle bass, which is one of your instruments that, that's in your package. In this case, what we've got is a fishing line here, a, some kind of a plastic bottle here, and this is a, uh, like a broomstick or something like that. This is the vibration. This makes it louder. Now I'm going to get the different pitches by changing the length. So that works exactly like the xylophone does. But the other way to get different pitches with a string instrument is to make things tighter and looser. So in this case, I've got a rubber band here, which is pretty loose. If I pull it tighter, it vibrates faster and faster. And finally, really fast. I'm going to have to watch my eyes. So there we go. Okay. Now, 
What I've done is I've brought some of the musical instruments that are a little more difficult to explain in your package, because I think it's easier for you to actually see it done on video and then it is to explain the words that, that are in the package. But I think you'll get a good idea of how these things go here.